So guys, this is Rectify Battlezone. I'm going to show you how to get back to 1.4.7 if you've accidentally updated the 1.5. Uh, the server is not updated yet, so you will need to run uh, 1.4.7 until Battlezone is updated. So as you can see, I have 1.5 uh, installed right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit that. First thing you'll want to do is open up your web browser and go to the Battlezone website, battlezonemc.net. On the top news post, you'll see a link I've put there going to assets.minecraft.net slash 1.4.7 slash minecraft.jar. This is the 1.4.7 Minecraft client. So you'll go ahead and copy that link, paste it into your address bar, and you'll want to download it to your downloads folder. Once you have it downloaded, you can go into your downloads folder and right click copy. So now that you have the file copied, you can go to the start button on Windows 7 and type percent app data percent and hit enter. On Windows XP, you would hit start and run and type percent app data percent and hit OK. On Windows 8, you would just go to the start screen and just start typing right away there. Same thing, percent app data percent, and hit enter. And uh, all versions of Windows will bring you to this folder, app data roaming. Um, inside there, you'll find the dot Minecraft folder. You'll double click and go in there. Inside there, you'll want to go into the bin folder. Um, now here we have the minecraft.jar this is the 1.5 so we can go ahead and rename that dash 1.5 and we'll go ahead and paste the uh, minecraft.jar that we downloaded so this is the 1.4.7 uh, in there now so I'll just go ahead and minimize everything open up minecraft as you can see we're back on 1.4.7 so that's all it takes to get back on the old version uh, go ahead and quit so if you want to switch between the two versions all you would have to do is go back into your uh, app data roaming dot minecraft bin folder rename that minecraft dot jar into minecraft dash 1.4.7 dot jar and change the 1.5 back into minecraft.jar and that's all it takes and you can easily switch between the two versions uh, just by renaming those files and that's all it takes I'll see you guys on the server